interview for the. Uh, okay, go. Cool. Um, can, we, can I suggest uh, maybe stand under some shade so I can take these off yeah, back there? Uh, okay. How about that? Uh, you are Victor Hi. Davies' uh, brother. Davis. Davis' brother. Yes. And uh, you're carrying on a very incredible legacy which uh, promotes uh, the definitive answer of what the, your brother did to save lives and to carry on organ and tissue transplant awareness mm -hmm. and the knowledge of it. And what, how are you going to do this now? Um, 2009 marks the 20th anniversary of losing Victor to uh, an allegedly drunk driver. And when Victor was killed, uh, we donated all his usable organs and six people got a new lease on life, including a grandfather who would live a further 17 years. And you know, you got to look at it, like, that's over 3,000 sunsets he got to see. He got to see his grandchildren grow up. So it's impossible to put any sort of price uh, on that. Any, and it's very difficult to even put an emotional feeling to it because it, it feels so wonderful to know that an entire bunch of families, was their life was vastly improved and in some cases saved by our, uh, by our donation. Um, Victor was the kind of person that uh, wouldn't think twice about saving someone's life if he didn't know him. And he did that for five people that day. So on the 20th anniversary of this, of losing him, on the 20th anniversary of losing him, uh, I want to honor his memory and I want to go across from Guelph all the way up to Montreal and uh, raise awareness for organ donation and encourage people that have not registered to, to donate their organs or tissue samples to do so. And myself, I'm going to register for bone marrow today. Do you, um, now that you have experienced itself the need and you're out there now participating as part of the awareness campaign, mm -hmm. do you feel that you have made a, not just a contribution, but you have actually brought in the reality that this is a method now to save lives. It's the new 21st century approach that you are carrying it through, through cycling, through a marathon, but there's something else that you're doing which is even deeper. You're bringing knowledge to people all across the world, and this is impacting not only just people with, who are athletes, but they're also impacting people in the media, it's impacting children and schools mm -hmm. and high school. Do you feel right now at this moment that through all this, that your success is going to now change the world's thinking? I certainly hope it will. I, I, I hope that people will, will see the, the commitment and determination that I have along with my, my teammates. I'll be having some people join me on this ride. That we're all committed to this quite strongly and quite firmly. And we all firmly believe in, in donating not only usable organs, but uh, tissues and blood as well. And this is all, and because of the internet now, we're so close to the entire planet now. I can communicate with somebody in Iceland or Italy like today. We spoke to uh, that young man, uh, father, his uh, priest in Italy. So with such a connection like that, I mean, it'll, it can only make the world a smaller, more human place, I think. Will you be participating in the uh, campaign now that's coming up in October with George? I'll be actively supporting it as much as I possibly can, yes, absolutely. Would you at any point in time take up the initiative to maybe, when he hits the United States, to uh, maybe be at the first presentation or maybe be in some time in the middle of transition or end to really encourage the people in the United States. Oh, absolutely. If, if I can make it and if I can help George in any way, I most certainly will. Absolutely. I'd like to thank you for doing this for the people, not only of Canada, but for the people of the United States and in and around the world to motivate, encourage the new change and the new reality of helping Canadians, Americans, and every sex, religion, creed in the world today. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. You're welcome.